Hi guys, uh, just a quick textures and moulds haul for you this morning. Oh, well it's morning for me. <laughs> uh, I'll just pop these to one side. Um, I've been after some of these Cernit textures for quite a while. Um, so I've bought a few. I've got them from Clay Ground. I will leave a link. <clears throat> um, it's a UK lady, she sells all things Cernit um, and the they were all £6.25 um, I'll just open them up because I've not even opened them if I can figure out how to get in them that is I must just have to rip this top tab off Ooh. so this is uh, bubbles is the texture and as you can see it's like loads of bubbles it's really cool they're lovely mats these they're just like a grey rubber stamp to be fair uh, but quite a deep texture in them uh, so that's bubbles and then this one is called freestyle If I can open it. Oh, plastic is really tough. Uh, yeah, this one's called Freestyle. And it's just kind of um, funky patterns everywhere. A bit of floral, a bit of swirls. Quite nice. Um, they do show you like a, a little instruction thing how to do um, bits and bobs with it so that's cool um, I forgot what the thing's called you know what I mean Sutton Slice and this one is one of the Annabelle ones um, she designs a few texture mats for Cernit and this is her uh, I think it's called Pop curtain and it's just got all these circles with little lines a bit like a a 60s bead curtain I suppose but quite a funky pattern uh, so that's those three and they were all the same price at six pounds um, 25 each and they were from Clayground and then um, I've got a bit bonkers on my favourite uh, mould store and um, these are from Yaroslav Moulds they're actually he's actually in Russia he posts all over the world um, and they are a considered purchase I know that guys but the quality is excellent on them uh, these are all uh, Ludmilla Bacolina uh, designed ones so that she hand makes the um, cabochon and then they cast the moulds in them um, so I'll just go through these uh, the text I'll go through the texture mats first this is like a rose leaf print it's really um, unusual the texture is so unusual um, but really lovely and that's called roses and that was seven pound sixteen so comparable I suppose it's just a little bit bigger than one of those comparable in price to the Cernit ones and this one is called textile I don't know if you're gonna make this out but it's a fabulous pattern in it and it's reasonably deep and this is quite a thick texture mat and this one was £7.56 again comparable, comparable in price to the Cernit ones and then I've got three different moulds here uh, now I will you know they're not that cheap but I, I have not found anywhere um, 
that has got comparable moulds. Um, they're either those very flimsy ones um, or the really tough hard ones. Um, or I can't get the sizes I want, they're all really tiny, tiny things. Uh, so this one was £9.55 and it's just a lovely uh, unusual shape there thought that I'd make actually nice earrings and then this one was £13.52 again just some unusual shaped organic shaped uh, cabochons and this one was £15.12 and there's three different like a teardrop and a extended one and then a flat top one um, <clears throat> and like I say yeah I appreciate they're considered purchase guys um, but you think they're all handmade and hand finished rather than mass produced um, I don't think the price is too bad you know, the comparable you know to material wise you know they're really thick they're really sturdy they're really good quality you can put them in the oven um, and these are from Yaros these five things are from Yaroslav moulds uh, again I'll leave a link guys to um, his web page and just to chuck in um, they weren't from the same order but I just wanted to show you some mica powders that I got now I appreciate you can't really see them can you on the screen uh, but Arctic Fire uh, these are all Cernit some are duos and some are just um, normal um, and they're just a few quid I got these from um, oh Pills and Core, um, and the colours are amazing. Just like some really nice interference colours. Don't know if you can make that out on my hand. Oh, there you go. It's like a ready silver. And then this one is just the diamond one, and it's so twinkly. Can't tell you how twinkly it is really really sparkly I'll just put a bit on my hand can you see the sparkle sorry guys I know it's not the best thing for me to be don't know if they'll work on a bit of black let's try it on a bit of black for you should have thought this out before I was sure you shouldn't I really no they're not working on that let me see if I can find a bit of black card to put them on <clears throat> there we go that's better I'll put them on a bit of black card so there's the sparkle diamond one that's the arctic fire one if I lift that up there you can see a bit better now it's really hard to film on isn't it and then this is the another duo one which is lapis sunlight and this is a real two-tone one I don't know if you can make that out again it's like a purple blue green peacock sparkle color and then last but not least, um, this is metallic silver. So I've got diamond silver and metallic silver. And that's again a really sparkly one. Oh, and now I'm covered in mica. And they're really full jars, these guys. They're not. You know, sometimes you get some little jars, don't you? And there's nothing in them. There's like a gram in them. Uh, but yeah, there we go. I just thought I'd show you those. Um, 
can't remember how much they were. Uh, oh, five euros twenty um, per tub, but they're really great sized tubs. These guys, really good size. Um, so you can't see them a bit better, but they are really lovely. Uh, right, there we go, guys. Just a little bit of a mini haul, and I chucked those in at the end. If anybody's looking for any decent mica powders. And I shall see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.